Today we're looking at the straight shooter jeans uh, from Ace Johnson Tactical Jeans. Um, really excited about this. We've been working on it for about two years. Uh, this is a brand new pair out of the box. We'll go through some of the features. So from the outside, looks like just a normal pair of jeans. We doubled up the watch pocket. The watch pocket is big enough on both sides that you can drop one of these card bolts all the way into it if you're so inclined. Um, inside the pockets, we have tethers. This is uh, inside the front pockets as well as uh, another set of pockets in the back. Um, subtle branding, right? We got, right, so far so good. We got the fly. The fly is a YKK metallic looking nylon coil zipper. It's common point of failure. It was common point of failure on a pair of jeans or a pair of pants um, is the zipper. So we went through, took the extra steps, made sure you had the reliability there. Uh, we beefed up the belt loops. Um, so this will take a one and three quarter inch belt. Um, if you need a heavy duty belt, uh, you know why that's important. We have a diamond gusset down here in the business region. Um, this combined with a four-way stretch denim allows us to throw head kicks, drop into a rock bottom squat, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, it lets you move rather dynamically and athletically should the need arise. Um, we go around the back. Right. Basic back pockets. We, in addition, here's where we start getting our, our hidden features. Similar, right? Similar to some of what we've seen, we just made sure they're deep enough to accommodate a full size, uh, full size iPhone. Um, yeah, they'll hit mags. The pocket goes all the way down to about there to give you an idea. So you can drop an AR mag completely in there if you wanted to, right? So far, so good. So on the outside of this, we have six pockets that are visible, two, four, six, then we have our eight. When we go through, we get inside, we have a pocket in the fly. Uh, this is for, uh, what do you got, picks, you need to slide in there. Guys like uh, Rob or Boris, they'll understand the, uh, the the need for this. If you're doing some red team work, um, obviously you're going to be able to fit your diamond wire, um, hairpins, stuff like that, if you needed to. Um, we just have it already available. Um, in addition to that, we also have hidden pockets on the inside, each one of which is sized for a passport. If you're wondering, passports are a standard size, so it doesn't matter what country you're in, your passport will fit. And we have those. Those are sewn underneath the back pockets on the outside. So depending on the places you go, it's only a matter of time of when you'll get robbed, not if. And choosing between getting your passport stolen from you or leaving it behind and having it stolen in your hotel room isn't a great choice. So one, so we haven't seen some of these features done before. One of the things that we did that we haven't seen anyone else do before, these pockets are included, um, but we also put in our eyelets. So we're gonna show you on the uh, pair of jeans that I've been testing for the past year, how this works. So as you can see, when you uh, wear the Jesus out of your stuff, it winds up getting a real nice look. So we use these Tango stays. Uh, there's two different sizes. These are the heavier duty ones. You're gonna take a fork. We made these eyelets a little bit tighter than they needed to be because it's harder to make them smaller later. So you go through, slide in this tango stay. It's also known as a barbed elastic. So it pulls taut. 
I'm just using a fork to stretch this out. Okay, I'm going to do this on both sides. Alright, so that's how they're staying in, is there's a barb on them. Slide these in. Okay, make sure your barb sets. Hit this other one. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of uses that we can, can get out of these, whether we're going through and using it to carry an extra mag. Um, when we, uh, when we have had to uh, carry concealed, the biggest issue that we found was carrying the extra mag in a way that wasn't bulky. Um, this will allow you to keep your, uh, your bullet tips oriented properly. Um, and interestingly enough, this firearm was cleared. Interestingly enough, you can actually go through and support a full-size pistol off of this. And I'll give you a demo for, uh, for how that looks in action. But you can wind up with a very low profile carry option um, but it's almost invisible it's the it's the thinnest thing out there this is a, uh, a Glock 22 if you were to have one of the 43s or the 48x or even a Smith & Wesson shield uh, it'll just be gone um, there's also the option to go through and if you have a knife that's got a Emerson style wave opener on it with the shock cord go through, set this up, and as it pulls out, it'll open. And we'll show you a demo of that as well.